Hello snowboarders of the internet, I'm TC and today we'll be reviewing the Solomon HPS Taka EP. This board features Solomon's powder camber, so that means it's going to have rocker on the nose with camber underneath your feet with a tiny bit of rocker in the tail. So that rocker in the nose allows the board to float in powder and also turn really easy. And then that camber gives you a little bit of stability underneath your foot while you're riding in less ideal conditions. This board comes in 159, 164, and 169 for sizes. I rode this board at Copper Mountain. Uh, it was a beautiful day. It was nice and sunny, about six inches of fresh that later turned into kind of sloppy, pushed over snow with slightly breezy winds blowing. I used my Ride Fuse boots with Jones Mercury bindings on it. When it comes to flex, this board is on the softer side. Definitely softer nose. The tail is gonna be a little bit stiffer just so you can drive off it. But for the most part, you are looking at a much softer board even in between your feet. Torsionally, it is super easy to flex and twist around so you don't have any problems there. This board is fairly stable with the bamboo that runs right underneath your feet throughout the board. It does keep it from feeling super chattery. Doesn't help with any snap or release on turns, but it does keep the board nice and damp. When you're alling or popping this board, there isn't much to it. So in the tail here, it is a little bit stiffer, but that being said, it's not gonna really provide a lot of snap for it. The camber helps a little bit, but you're doing most of the work on the board. But that being said, it really isn't made for ollieing and jumping over slow signs. This board is really fun to butter. You have this huge rocker section in the nose, which makes it easy to press and spin around to really lock in those butters. The tail, that it being short, it still has a really good press zone in it with that tiny bit of rocker in it, where you can just keep it spinning like a top. And when you're buttering in powder, it holds extremely well and really releases out of that, that butter and press. When it comes to carving, this board is fairly nimble edge to edge on those shorter carves, which surprised me. In the trees on that fresh snow, it definitely handled it a little bit better where it can find those narrower tree spots that you wouldn't expect. Those medium lines do hold up fairly well, better in the fresh snow for sure. When it comes to those long carves, it's best to keep it in the fresh powder. It does get a little squirrelier at high speeds, I will say, if you're on groomers. The rider in mind for this board is somebody that wants to just take it out for those medium, just mellow pow days. You're not looking to go to the glades or anything like that. You're sticking to that more chill terrain, possibly in the preseason where you're not looking to hit any giant rock drops or anything like that. But definitely for that guy who wants to get out and mellow powder and not sink and have to walk their way out. I personally thought this board was fun. It is great for that mellow pow. Uh, when I did get it at higher speeds, it wasn't the greatest. But if I'm looking to just have like a chill, relaxing day on something with a few fresh inches, this is a great board for it. It did feel a little scary on groomers to like fresh groomers to ride just because I felt like I would break the board if I did push a little too hard into turns or try to put a little bit too much into the ollie just because of how soft it is. I'd recommend you do size up just to make sure you do get the appropriate length. The three comparable boards would be the Nidecker Beta, the Yes Pick Your Line, and the Nitro Quiver Cannon. The recommended bindings would be a Solomon Hologram, a Battalion Blaster ASIM, and a Jones Orion. This has been my review of the Solomon HPS Taka EP. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Let me know in the comments below. I would really like to know what you guys have to say. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, turn on those notifications. If you guys wanna support us further, head on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. We have a video that'll explain everything further for you. And as always guys, I'm TC. We'll see you in the next video.